Hello, my name is Bart Brecka, and today I plan to share the Creo schematics and RSD workflow with ProCable. This will take several videos. In the first video, I plan to show RSD and export an, R, uh, an XML file, and then in, in ProCable, I'll, I'll attempt to route the wires, run into a few problems, go back and fix RSD, and uh, re-export the data and re-import in Pro Engineer and auto route those uh, cables. So before I start, I just want to introduce our design engine is where where I work. We we teach a wide variety of software packages, and you can click through the website to look through that. That's ProEtools.com. At jobs.designengine.com, we have a wide variety of, of jobs that are posted each day today being March 21st. Uh, you'll notice the top job here is the GoPro camera people. I actually talked them into using Pro Engineer. Not sure which VAR actually sold it to them. The designengine.com blog where we teach, where we, where we uh, present a wide variety of articles from this article is, is uh, basically all Photoshop. The, the artist does a pretty wild set of Photoshop tools. Uh, motorcycle show and the auto show that comes to Chicago each year. Now in RSD and Pro Cable class that we teach, I try to kind of approach the training from a very hands-on point of view. If you ripped your console and your car up apart what what would you see? You've got connectors, you've got wires, you've got uh, heat shrink, you've got tape, various geometries to help keep the cables secure. Often in Pro Cable, you download these these connectors from your various websites, and in our training material, we point to the Amp Ampanol website. To, you know the various web you know websites that will let you download the 3D IGES geometry, and there's a, a certain thing that you have to do to get the cable connectors prepared for routing, and we prepared quite a few manufacturers to you know with their libraries for those types of geometries, both in RSD and Pro, Pro Engineer. Then then we uh, talk a lot about in uh, top-down design and how top-down design needs to be used with Pro Cable to simplify the larger assemblies when you're routing a cable harness through a drone aircraft for example you need to know where the bulkheads are you need to know how to get from one bay to the next and uh, the top-down design becomes becomes very handy we also talk about the different types of You've got a wiring diagram. You've got a block diagram. There's a wide variety of different different types of diagrams RSD can do, from PD and ID to block diagrams. This is the uh, exercise we're going to go through today: the front uh, headlamp of a Kawasaki 600 Ninja, and you can see we're routing wires from a connector to a lamp. And I've, I've noticed in my years of teaching Pro Cable that a lot of companies will, will choose to, to present the cable harness and the wiring diagram from connector to connector. And I'm just going to try to illustrate that you can go from connector, but typically you go from a system like a lamp to a battery, and it goes through a connector. But we'll talk about that in, in later videos. Here's the RSD equivalent of the cable harness. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to kind of scroll down and show you some of the other training that we that we've got. This 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 when you unfold this cable, this can be kind of a pain. And uh, I like to, in the training, present a wide variety of of problems that we can solve using Pro Cable and RSD. All right, so. Let's go now to RSD and just kind of do a quick overview. I've got a connector 
a six pin connector and a two pin connector I'm gonna click on the six pin connector right hold down and go to properties and just talk a little bit about some of the properties that are important for example model underscore name in this case I've called the connector con underscore six I think PTC has named some of their training their, their connectors this way so I kinda just adopted that naming convention typically your company is gonna have a part number for that connector but that 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 name con underscore six corresponds to a pro engineer model name in pro engineer I'm gonna cancel out of that now I'm gonna click on the lamp right hold down and go to properties and you'll see I have a default internal length of three millimeters that's that's the distance that the, 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 the wire or the conductor extends past the coordinate system in Pro Engineer. And I also have a name con underscore bulb. That's the connector that plugs into the back of the bulb itself. I've got connectors here, or uh, sp splices. I'm not going to route those wires can do that in a separate video at some point. Let's click on a wire and look at its properties. Its properties, um, in this case, I've got blue for a wire color, and I've applied a data set that I've built using Excel, and that Excel spreadsheet is my wire, wire it has, it contains my wire information. And this is my naming convention for my wire, 4 underscore blue SXL. Um, if you'll notice, the thickness of my wire is a 10.6 millimeter wire. It's a little bit too large. I need to apply a specific data set to change that to a different wire. So I'm going to open it up and just show you down here. Here's a 3.94 brown wire. So I'm going to hit OK and apply. And now I've just changed this wire to a, to a smaller wire. I'm going to hit OK. Now if you'll notice, inside this, uh, the, the, the color of the, of the wire didn't change because ultimately I need to be able to print a PDF and send it to get it checked or what have you. Maybe it gets submitted, the PDF gets submitted to windchill or what have you. If I wanted to change the color I could come over here and play around with some of these different things and actually turn it to a brown. Might be neat to do if I wanted to you know like in AutoCAD you can change change color by layer. Maybe maybe it would be good if I could change the color of the wire per what color it is just for checking that might be something we could do but ultimately when you print it it needs to be black I just wanted to show that you could do that let's click on this wire and right hold down and go to properties and see what's there I've got a black wire for the naming convention I've got this set to a free format typically you leave it set to autogen and you can you can you can you know just takes whatever the next number is my wire is a wire w-2022 let's export this this geometry and then bring it into pro engineer as an xml file and let's try to let's try to problem solve routing those wires if they don't work we have to problem solve it so i'm going to right hold let's see i, I highlighted the entire geometry now i'm going to go to um, export the file and if you'll notice I've got the Creo 1.0 Creo schematics and they've PTC has adopted the, um, the ribbon user interface the Microsoft industry standard ribbon interface so uh, let's just poke around and look at that text different types of geometry data if I wanted to uh, repaint the screen so what I want to do is go to file export 
and I need to look for the option XML on my export. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna name name this uh, Cal Kawasaki O1 because I'm doing O1 because you re you need to realize that as we problem solve these, I'd set myself up for some problems and I know that I'm going to need to do an O2 and, an, and possibly an O3 to get this just right. Let's see where we're going to store the file. I'm going to go ahead and put this under um, our Z drive over the network. And I've got a Kawasaki file already I hit OK there. Now we need to terminate this video and I'm going to open Pro Engineer in a separate video and import that XML file. All right, thank you for listening to this portion of my video and please consider coming to Design Engine located in Chicago in the near future. Thank you.